Hello everyone, welcome back to Glitz and Glitter. Today I have a little jar for you today that I did un, un I should say unpack on my Timu haul number two. And I'm gonna turn it inside out for you so you can see. On the inside it's gonna have these little lines and facets where these little rhinestones will get put on. If you saw my large one like this, let me grab it. This was the large one that I did in black, more like a smoky black. I'm holding some keychain holders in there. Um, it's pretty similar. It's just the smaller version, and it has this little fluted lid instead of that big tall lid. So I just wanted to show you the inside, and today I am going to do it in sapphire well this isn't the sapphire this is azure i just got this pigment from timu as well and that one is going to be this color here on the end so i'm going to do like a transparent well maybe i don't know not quite transparent but not completely opaque um for the pour then i'm going to use my silver paint pen to do the lines. I will put these little rhinestones on there with a liquid fusion. And um, I did measure this with water. The jar holds five ounces and the lid holds one ounce. So I'm gonna go ahead and get six ounces mixed up. I just wanted to come on here for all you new people who have just found my channel. Thank you so much for coming in and checking, checking me out. Um, if you haven't done so, please subscribe. It really does help out the channel a lot as well as liking and even commenting. And I just love all the nice and kind comments that you guys always leave me. I do read every single one of them and I try to respond to all of them. Thank you so much for that. A couple things for you new people. Um, I do sell all my demos. If you go in my description box, you're going to find a lot of things in the description box. You're going to find links to other things that are similar that I've done. Like in this description box will be that black jar. So you can see that one too if you like this one. In the description box also will be links to everything that I'm using in here. Everything that I can possibly put in there. And the other thing that will be in there is my email address. If you're interested in my demos, I sell them at cost. I don't charge any profit. I'm just selling them at cost so they don't pile up here at my house because these are really honestly just demos for you guys and some ideas to give you. So I do appreciate it if you can go in there and check everything out. The other thing in my description box is a Timu affiliate link. And if you are shopping on Timu, 
I do recommend it. I have been happy with every single thing that I have gotten so far. The only thing I'm not happy with is they did lose one of my packages, which I have not received yet. So I'm not too happy about that one. But that was one in many, 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 many packages I've received. But there is an affiliate link and it doesn't cost you anything extra to use that link. It, but it does give me a little bit of a bonus with them so I can continue to get a few new items so I can continue putting um, some YouTube videos out for you guys. So those are just a few housekeeping items I wanted to mention and I will go ahead and continue with this video. Thanks a lot. As I mix up this blue, there's two other things that I wanted to mention to you that are in the description box. One, actually it's in every description box um, because I'll get a lot of comments. One is um, how I clean my silicone mixing cups. It's like a minute and a half video. Click on that link for especially if you're new to resin because nobody ever taught me this. So I have a quick way to clean your cups in like a minute, two minutes tops and you'll be able to use it again right away. And the other one that you can always find in my description box is a tour of my new resin room that my husband was so kind in designing and putting together for me. So those are always in there too if you're interested to see my workspace that I absolutely love and I spend way too much time in here. As you can see, I literally get videos out every day because I am addicted to being in this room. <laughs> I do work full-time job. Me and my husband own a company and I do that all day and then I come home and do this all night. This is about perfectly where I want it. It's not um, opaque and it's not too transparent and if you want to test it on like white just get a paper towel and just put it on there and you'll kind of see exactly the color you're going to get depending on how deep you pour obviously so I'm going to just get this back on here and I'm going to pour this really really slow let me move this stuff out of the way I'm going to pour this slow and high because the higher you pour, the smaller the stream will be and the bubbles won't be able to survive it that much. I will go in with a smaller stick, which I'm going to grab. Going to go in with a smaller stick and kind of get it down in there as well as in here so no bubbles are going to stick around. Okay, let me uh, zoom in. And I see something in my mold, which you probably wouldn't see anyway, but that's okay. I don't want to take a chance because this is going to be beautiful when it's done. Okay, so you can't see my cup because it is super high and I'm just going to pour this really, really slow. And then when I get like, I don't know, half inch deep like that. I'm just going to take my little stick, get it down in all these little crevices. This has this little spot here. I'm not exactly sure what it is until I unmold it. So um, yeah, we're going to learn together what that is. I don't know if it's supposed to be a bow. Oh, you can't see it. Sorry. I don't know what this spot is. So we'll figure it out later I guess so I just just put um, my little stick down in there that way it gets inside there so as you can see it is super thin because I don't have a debubbler machine I wish I did but I don't I would love to have one but seeing that YouTube doesn't pay anything I'm not going to get one anytime soon. Clearly I'm going slow, otherwise it would not take this long. I think I'll go in with my stick real quick. Again, just to make sure. I don't use, um, rarely do I use a torch. I do have a torch, but um, I try not to use it on my silicone molds. 
I ruined one and one was too many. So I do use alcohol, 99% alcohol spray. A uh, little spray bottle I got from Walmart. You can use a long neck lighter, I would say second, and then a torch very gently, like third place. I do use torches when I don't have molds. I love using my torch, but I don't want to use it with a mold. Okay, the rest is going to go into this little lid. You can kind of see down in there. And I just want to go through and make sure it's getting in there, which I can see the edges, so it looks like it is getting in there. Do you see a few bubbles I want to catch before it gets domed right up here? I don't know if you could see that right here. There's a bubble. So if you could see them, definitely get them out. Otherwise you're going to have big gaps. There was one there. There was one there. See? Take your time. You have plenty of time to get these out. It's well worth your time. In the end, in the long run, you're going to wish you did. All right, I'm just going to go through and make sure I don't see anything else. There's one more right there. And I do usually check on all my stuff every maybe five or ten minutes for about 30 minutes before I walk away. I do try to dome everything that I do. That way there's less trimming when you take it out. And if you're new to resin, doming just means you're bringing that resin up above the edge without breaking the tension. Which this one is not quite. Okay, they are perfectly domed. Let me grab my alcohol spray. This is the little spray bottle. Some people don't like using alcohol. I have never had a problem. I use all different kinds of resins for any anything I'm doing. There is a kind of resin. I've used alcohol on all of them, and I have never had it leave a mark. But some people say they have had lead it, leave marks, so... You'll just have to experiment and see what you get. Okay, I'm going to let this go overnight and we'll get you in the morning. Good morning they are cured ready to come out so i'm going to start with the little one because the big one's going to be harder so let's get these unmolded and see what we have to work with here hopefully i don't have too many bubbles this is a little oh no not really soft i thought it was soft because i did it so late at night but i see a couple bubbles unfortunately all right, so one there. See them? Two, three, three bubbles. Here's the side view. Okay, let's see if we can get this one out. I don't think it'll be too bad. This is almost like a cobalt blue. I love the color. Over there. There. Oh, I see. It is a bow. 
there's a little rhinestone place for the rhinestone. Bottom needs a little trimming with the burring tool. I even domed it and it still needs trimming so it shrunk a little bit while it was curing. Came out good though. Um, I don't see any bubbles in this. What do you guys think? I'm going to go ahead and use my Deco Color Silver Pen. Get all these lines done. I'll start it for you, but you don't have to watch the whole thing. This is a chisel tip. It's a larger tip. Um, and basically, all I did on the last one was go over all the areas that I wanted painted. I did go on the insides of them the best I could without going on the jar as well. So it did take a little bit of time. So I'm not going to bore you with the details. So I will just go ahead and uh, fast forward this. I just went through and took some alcohol and got all these little tiny spots off that I got in the wrong place and the alcohol takes it off, cleans it up. I did go through and go over it a second time. So just clean it up the best you can. This is kind of difficult. The, it's almost impossible not to get bubbles on these circles. There's like little gaps on every single one of these. I don't think there's any way to fix that. Um, in the mold because you can't really get any kind of tool down in there. To stick rhinestones on, I use uh, liquid fusion and I stick it in this little bottle just because it's such a smaller tip and um, it's much easier to get it in the places that you want. Make sure all the glue is off this or it won't flow out. The only place I could find that uh, was on Amazon. I will link everything below. To help you find it. I've checked every store I could and I couldn't find it anywhere. So I have all my little rhinestones. You'll need your little tool, your wax tip tool. And basically a tiny bit of glue and a stone. And then that's it. If I can get my glue out. It's been sitting for a little while since the last jar that I did, so it is a little stuck in there. There it comes. You don't need a whole lot, just a little tiny, little tiny dab. And then place your stone. That's it. Pretty simple. Thank you all for watching. I appreciate every one of you. I appreciate all your comments. You guys are all so sweet. And I will fast forward this so you don't have to be bored. And I will get you some finishing pictures. So thank you all. You guys have a blessed day. And I will see you on the next video. Bye.